Hi preschool friends. I hope you'll join me today for a little music lesson. And so uh, we're going to start off with exploring our voices like we always do, make our voices go high and low and up and down. So for this uh, activity, you're going to go yee Okay? Every time I say the words cowboy call, that's what I want you to do. yee Okay? Here we go. Cowboy Joe was a bold young man. He dreamed of rustling cattle most of all. He wanted to see if the cows would come when he let out his cowboy call. Yee He practiced all day from morning till night, and he practiced both summer and fall. He knew someday he'd have the chance to try out his cowboy call. Yee Well, finally one day it was proudly announced that his ma and pa and all were taking a trip to his grandfather's ranch where he could try out his cowboy call. Yee He jumped for joy and he grabbed his gear and he ran back down the hall. He hopped into the car and was ready to go to let out his cowboy call. yee When he arrived at the ranch, he was happy to see that the cows were not in the stall. He dashed to the field where they quietly grazed, and he let out his cowboy call. yee Well, they all did come right up to the fence, and he sure felt ten feet tall. I'm Cowboy Joe. See how the cows come when I let out my cowboy call. yee now that was really some day for Cowboy Joe, and he sure did have a ball. Now he's wanting to try bigger and better things, so he's practicing his elephant call. Okay, good job. What was our cowboy's name in this story? Cowboy Joe, good. And where did he go to try out his cowboy call? To his grandfather's ranch, right? So he got in the car with his mom and dad, and uh, he was happy to see that the cows were not in the barn in the stall and they were out in the field grazing and did they come when he let out his cowboy call yes they sure did come and he felt 10 feet tall he was so proud of himself so he let out his cowboy call i hope you did too and uh, make your voice go high on that cowboy call okay now let's Try something else. Another thing that's on a farm are horses. Okay, not just cows, but horses can be on a farm too. Okay, and so we sang this song a while ago called "The Horse Stood Around." Okay, with his foot on the ground. So we're just going to tap our foot like this. Okay, here we go. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Same horse, other foot. Here we go. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Same horse, but changing feet. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Same horse, but both feet at the same time. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his feet on the ground. Now, same horse, but only one foot. Hop on one foot. Ready? Go. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. Oh, the horse stood around with his foot on the ground. How would you do? Can you hop on one foot that long without falling over? Losing your balance? I hope so. All right, good job. Let's keep the steady beat today. Putting it on our head, our shoulders, a 
it wherever I put it. You watch me and follow me and do what I do with my hands. Here we go. Good job. Thank you. All right, I would like to sing you a story called Jenny Jenkins. We've done this one before, you might remember it. She was somebody who was very picky about what she wore, about her clothes and what color they were. So let's sing about Jenny Jenkins. <clears throat> Here we go. Oops. Okay. It goes like this. Will you wear white, oh my dear, oh my dear? Oh, will you wear white, Jenny Jenkins? I won't wear white, for the color's too bright. I'll buy me a folder rolled it till the toldy seek a double roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. Will you wear red, oh my dear, oh my dear? Oh, will you wear red, Jenny Jenkins? I won't wear red, it's the color of my head. I'll buy me a folder roll, they till the toldy seek a double roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. Will you wear blue, oh my dear, oh my dear? Oh, will you wear blue, Jenny Jenkins? I will wear blue if your love is true. I'll buy me a folder roll day till the toldy seek a double roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. Will you wear green, oh my dear, oh my dear? Oh, will you wear green, Jenny Jenkins? I won't wear green, it's a shame to be seen. I'll buy me a folder roll day till the toldy seek a double roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. Will you wear purple, oh my dear, oh my dear? Oh, will you wear purple, Jenny Jenkins? I won't wear purple, it's the color of a turtle. I'll buy me a folder roll day till the toldy seek a double roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. Will you wear black, oh my dear, oh my dear? Oh, will you wear black, Jenny Jenkins? I won't wear black, it's the color of my sack. I'll buy me a folder roll day till the toldy seek a double roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. 
What will you wear, oh my dear, oh my dear? Oh, what will you wear, Jenny Jenkins? I have nothing to wear. I can't go anywhere. I'll buy me a folder roll to till the toldy seek a double roll. Jenny Jenkins roll. All right. So she was very picky about what she would and would not wear. So, did she say, would she wear white? She said no, because why? Whoops, turned an extra page. Because the color's too bright. She would not wear white. What about red? Would she wear red? No, that's the color of her head. She won't wear red. Will she wear blue? She said, yes, I will wear blue if your love is true. What about green? Will she wear green? It says, nope, it's a shame to be seen in green. I don't know why. What about purple? She said, no, I won't wear purple. It's the color of a turtle. I don't know where she got that idea from. I guess they can look purple sometimes in the right light. I don't know. What about black? Would she wear black? Nope. It's the color of her sack. She won't wear black. So then they say, then what will you wear? And she says, I have nothing to wear. I can't go anywhere. But did you notice? She gave all those ribbons to her baby birds. They all started off in their eggs. Did you notice that? Let's see if I can find one. There's one egg there in her nest. Um, let's see, and then they show, where are they? Here they are, the broken egg shells. Here, so then the babies hatched and she gave all of her babies all the ribbons that her other bird friends gave her. So they got to wear all the ribbons that she would not wear. All right. Thanks for listening. Bye, preschoolers.